Today on Nation, the Window Cleaner Podcast, we're going to be talking about Home Advisor, the truth about Home Advisor. Heck, we'll talk Groupon. We'll talk all of them, but if you're using them or not, doesn't matter. Stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Hey, how are you? Uh, if it's your first time looking around, uh, have a look around. Uh, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Uh, I just got uh, a message from somebody I'm going to have to give a shout out to a little bit. He binged every single episode we have. Right now, we have 71 hours of content before this episode. 71 hours of podcast. So go check it out. Uh, follow it anywhere podcasts are. Make sure to download it regularly. Check it out on YouTube. Not a lot of people watch the YouTube or listen to YouTubes, but uh, that's where we have the conversation. Just go over there, pop in, say what's up, give it a thumbs up and a comment. That would mean a lot to me. Uh, but if you're one of the nation already, if you're one of the cool kids, and yes, I call you the cool kids, uh, then thank you. You're the type of people who watch every episode. You've commented. You give the thumbs up, <clears throat> Ryan Feaster. And uh, you, more importantly, order your supplies through me. Yes, I am a sales rep for windowcleaner.com. It was all a ploy this whole time. Uh, no, everybody knew that, I think. But I am a rep for window cleaning resource, uh, windowcleaner.com. So if you need anything, little, big, it doesn't matter. Put your orders in through me. I would love it. If you put your orders in through me, my number directs 862-312-2026. If you're scrambling for a pen right now, I'll wait. It's 862-312-2026. That's my cell phone. So call me, text me. I do texts all day long. So text me, be like, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart. Make sure you're logged in, of course. And uh, at the end of this episode, I'll give you a code, a super secret special code for 5% off your order and free shipping. So... Listen to that. You got to put the order in through me. Uh, make sure to give me the code. And for everybody who has bought WCR Nation shirts, what is up? Thank you, guys. That's super, super awesome. A bunch of you are buying swag. If you want them, uh, they're on the uh, Jersey Window Cleaning or Jersey WCR Nation Facebook page. Go buy them the link. They're like cheap, kind of cool. It's like a high five. But either way, and if you've bought your supplies for me, that's the reason that I get name brand things to eat and drink. And every time somebody sends me something, they always tell me what kind of name brand thing I can have. Uh, so thank you. By the way, last one was K-Cups. I got brand name K-Cups, which I still don't buy brand names. Sometimes I buy like the grocery store brand ones. Anyway, we're, we're getting off on a tangent, but thank you. 862-312-2026. I want to be a rep. Save that number. Uh, make my day. Uh, even little ones. Little orders. You know, you're talking about $50. Fine. Right now we're running a sale. Anything 99 and over, you get free shipping. But if you use the code, you get free shipping regardless. Anyway. All right. I'm off my uh, my soapbox. A couple of shout outs. First off, I want to say uh, Landon for giving me uh, some good tasting protein. That was what he said I could buy with my money, so thanks, man. Uh, Sean Jones, what's up, brother? And uh, Jordan Orth. Now, this is the dude who binged every episode since, like, December. The last week of December till now, which is March, first week of March, uh, I think is when this was going on, I believe. He's followed, he's watched and listened to every single episode. That's a, it's amazing. He is the binge master. Thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, everything man it's awesome hope it helps um but today today is gonna be my most hated episode ever i know it i know it send away you want my email to send me a harsh email it's jersey at windowcleaner.com but we're gonna talk about home advisor we're also gonna talk about thumbtack groupon facebook marketplace all those things but i'm gonna start with we're gonna start with home advisor now if you haven't seen Home Advisor all over the place, I'm going to explain what it is. Home Advisor is a service that you sign up with as a contractor. And they go out and they have ads and they have Facebook uh, things and, and, and Google ads and everything else to get people to go to their site. And when you go to their site and somebody needs a window cleaner, pressure washer, whatever you sign up for, all of the 
tons and tons of services. They sign up, they put all their information in, and then it sends you the lead. But it sends a few people a lead, usually about four people, depending on your area. I think they kind of limit it a little bit. But the problem is, is think of this. Think of a ring of fighting people, and they're all standing there looking at each other, and somebody takes a sword and throws it in the middle of the group. Everybody's going to run and get that, and guess what? Three people do not get it. But the person who got the sword, guess what? He's winning. Now, Home Advisor used to be service magic way back in the day. I personally signed up for the company that I don't own anymore. Uh, they still use it, though. Uh, Ten years ago, plus, uh, when it was uh, service magic. It was still service magic, uh, same concept. Um, what they do, again, same time then, there was less people that knew about it, though. They didn't have the ads that they do now. Um, the other thing that they didn't have in the beginning was all of the fake uh, fake leads that they have been accused of. Now, the part that everybody's going to get angry at is that I like HomeAdvisor. I like them. Now, I, I'm not as super stoked that they now have a sign-up fee. That's ridiculous to me. You're adding information into the computer. And actually, I'm going to add it. It's going to just update anyway. So for you to add, it's it's ridiculous. They also can't waive that. I've tried to get them to waive that when I started a company here. I said, yo, I've been doing this for 10 years. I just changed the name, man. They're like, oh, we got to do this. So on principle only, I didn't use them for my new company. But once you're in and you're fast, if you're one of those guys or girls that are out of the, out of the field, you're sitting at the office, you got your, your thumb on the pulse. You're the type of people who are going to get the work. Because that lead comes in. It's going to text you, call you, all the fun stuff. As soon as I get the text, I call them. Instantly call them as I'm pulling it up, their address on the computer. Hey, Mrs. Jones, it's Jersey calling from XYZ. I just wanted to give you a call. We got your information saying you need some window cleaning. And guess what? I'm going to make that like a five-minute call, if not longer. Oh, great, great. Well, tell me, uh, have you had your windows done before? Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm looking at your house now using some satellite imagery program. It's a beautiful house. Oh, it's so great. I like the... Bu and why am I doing that is because right now she's getting calls from everybody else. And they got to leave messages because the line's busy, right? I'm going to do everything and I'm going to give her a bid right over the phone. And when I'm done with that bid, okay, Mrs. Jones, so uh, total-wise for everything, we're going to do tracks, sills, frames, inside and outside, whole kit and caboodle, gutter clean, whatever services. I've told her about all the different services. Did you need something like that? We're going to add that for blah, blah, blah. For absolutely everything, we're going to be at $399. And uh, we have a first availability Tuesday, the second, at uh, between 9 and 10 in the morning. Does that one work good for you? I'm going to word it just like that. Just like that. I never, never said, would you like to book service? Because that's just another way of, uh, I'd like to get some other quote. Uh, maybe I'm a, what I said was, does that time work for you? And I usually say like, does Tuesday at, uh, between 9 and 10 work for you? Or would Wednesday be better? We have an afternoon appointment on Wednesday. If you give them a multiple choice answer, they're not going to say no. And if they do, they have to go to their comfort zone. Now, with anybody saying it's manipulative, it's not. What it is is sales. People always are like, oh, their no is their instant answer. So giving people less ways to say no, they can still say no. I'm not manipulating them anyway. What I'm doing is helping them decide if they want Tuesday or Wednesday. Now, for the most part, I would say 82% of all the jobs that I get on uh, Home Advisor, I am the one who books them right on the phone, right then and there. Because they don't know how many people are going to call them, first off. And when they start getting all these calls from everybody else, they're going to always say, oh, we already hired, we already hired, we already hired, we already hired. Sorry, we already got somebody. And I got them. I booked them. So for everybody out there who hates on Home Advisor, I think you're not fast enough. Because I have great success with it. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Now, depending on your service area or what service you're offering, that's where the pricing comes in. There's different um, types of uh, leads that come in. You can get direct leads and not. And you're talking anywhere from 25 and up per lead. Now, the downside is if you're slow or you're working on the field and you're not able to call them back right away. I'm slipping out of this chair. I'm sorry. 
then you're not getting the leads. If you're not getting the leads, you're paying $25 a lead. Now you can set caps, but if you're paying $25 a lead and you're not getting any of them, it starts to be very expensive because it's not advertising your company necessarily because they don't know who you are until you call them, right? So you're not getting anything out of it. You're only getting a lead once it books. So there's that. And that's where people really get uh, upset. They say, man, I can't close any of them. They're not answering, blah, 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 blah. Now, there is a lawsuit going on right now with Home Advisor, And it entails fake leads. Basically, fake leads, people going over their caps, things like that. I've never experienced any of that. I've had leads that I knew weren't good. The problem is when you report a lead to them is not good, they give you so much crap. If you've ever had to report a lead that is not good, comment down below. Tell me what they said to you, how they said it. I've never been treated more worthless than trying to do that. I'll sense, ah, I mean, we'll have to look into it, but uh, it seems like a legit lead. Are you sure you, like, no, I called the numbers disconnected, the whatever. Well, did you email them? They gave you the address. Did you go to the at? No, idiot. I'm not doing all that. That's why I paid for the lead, right? Uh, so they do give you some crap for that. And because they have a sign-up fee now, it's very hard to just try them out. But I've spent tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars with them. In exchange, I've made hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars with them. So there's a trade-off. But the problem is when you're paying for leads, um, the better the lead, the better the price, and the more willing you are to pay it. So the problem in lies, too, with this is that if I said to you, hey, I have Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones has a house with 33 windows. They're all casement windows. It's right up the street from where you already are working super nice. Uh, did you want that job? Well, you'd say, yeah, I would love that job. If I said, okay, uh, you want to throw me 25 bucks? You'd be like, yeah, right? The problem is, is that's guaranteed. With Home Advisor, nothing is guaranteed. With any of these, it's not really guaranteed. And that's where the problem comes in is that you're paying for something on still on the gamble and you still have to hustle to get it. Uh, if you're in like roofing, I think the average lead cost on that is like $140 a lead. That's crazy. Crazy. But you're doing a roof where you're making, you know, 10, 20 grand or whatever. But in window cleaning, it's a little bit different. Now, what services do I have with HomeAdvisor? I put on for commercial janitorial because we do commercial janitorial, obviously. Uh, window cleaning, business and residential, and then pressure washing, business and residential, and roof cleaning. Those are the ones that I do. Now, the problem with some of them is that, yes, you get fake leads. Uh, all of the janitorial ones, everybody's scooping those up, right? There's a lot of companies out there for that, but still, I still get them. I'll still call them, I'll get them. I have a lower close rate with them probably because they're sent to more people. Uh, with roof cleaning, it's like uh, got to be almost 100% because there's not a lot of people out there signed up for that. So that's awesome. Um, if you are doing commercial window cleaning, for the most part, that would be like route kind of window cleaning, but it's usually a corporate office that does it. It's not usually like a mom, pa, five window kind of thing. But the problem is, is our minimum on route work is $10. Give me crap about that too, but we build a good route. Our routes are very tight, so we make money no matter what. Uh, but uh, $10. Now, if you're paying more than you're even making on the job, is it worth it to you? Well, usually we've gotten, you know, Arby's, multi-store Arby's from that. We've gotten bids, projects for just a bunch of things I can't think of off head. But we've gotten a bunch of them. So it's definitely, definitely worth it because again with route, uh, if you're not a route guy, I get it. But if you are getting route work, even if it's a $10 a week job, that doesn't sound like anything. But if it's in a route, it makes everything else mean I make more money because I'm there longer. And it's $10 a week. That's $520 a year worth of window cleaning. That's like almost guaranteed. And people see me always cleaning the windows. 
how much referral work are you going to get off that? Plus, now I can do all of their neighbors because they see me. And then every time I'm there, I stop in and say, hey, just wanted to say, hey, I'm Jersey from XYZ. We clean, you know, your neighbor over there. And I wanted to see if we could get you on the schedule too. That'd be awesome if we could, right? So now there's so much other things that come from it. So I'm more than happy paying somebody for a lead with the gamble that's on me. I got to be fast to get it. Now, if you're new in business and you don't have the cheddar to spend, because again, if you're doing like a 300 month spend at 20, say $30 a lead to make easy math for my dumb self, that's 10 leads. That's not much. That's a couple a week, right? So, you know, you really need to spend a lot, but how much work are you getting out of it? If you hate Home Advisor, tell me why you hate Home Advisor. Tell me if you're fast. Some areas, some areas, if you're in like heavy populated Cali, major cities, New York, Atlanta, uh, Florida, you guys are saturated down there. I get it. There's a lot of people who are doing it and they're sending it to 50,000 people, it seems. And uh, they're making a billion dollars, by the way. Uh, And it's a little harder to get the work. So I totally get that. I totally get that. But I like them. If it wasn't for the stupid sign-up fee, I'd say everybody should try them and see what it's at. See what they like. But there's a stupid sign-up fee. Home Advisor, if you're watching, get rid of your stupid sign-up fee. That's ridiculous. It's a slap in the face. Do you want my money or not? I'm going to pay you for these leads that you're already getting and already sending. It costs you nothing to add somebody else on the vendor unless you're just making more money. Anyway, getting heated. There you go. If you hate what I said, too, shoot me an email, jersey at decleaner.com or comment on YouTube. Tell me how stupid I am. But that's Home Advisor. That's where the big dilemma comes in. And that's why people are so passionate about it is because they spent a ton of money, a ton of money on it. And maybe they didn't get a lot back in return. Mmm, K cups. Um, but uh, another good one, Thumbtack. I mean, Thumbtack uh, is almost the same except they give you very little information say hey you want this lead then they charge you so it's cool because you can they they they're like hey this job is in whatever city fill in the blank and you're like yeah i don't really go out there too often it's a window cleaning job 12 windows in a city it's an hour away i'm going to decline the lead if it says it's in my exact city it's got 40 windows you want the lead yes give me the lead I'm going to click yes as soon as possible. Call them as soon as possible. Same kind of concept. But they're giving you a better lead and they're letting you opt out. Now, they don't give you all the information until you say yes and they give you all the information. But it'll say like Barb C has 42 windows in Mooresville, North Carolina. Heck yeah. I want that one. Right? So Thumbtack's a good one to kind of uh, set up. Um, I don't think... That there's a sign up fee for that one, you have to check. Uh, but they send a lot of junk. But the good thing is, you don't have to pay for the junk. If you don't like it and they send you, like, you know, car window cleaning, and you're like, no, that's not what I do. You know? Well, I have one window I can't reach. Yeah. So you get to choose. Thumbtack's kind of cool. Check it out on that one. Um, another one that's a huge controversy is Groupon. Now, I know this was the Home Advisor episode, but we're going to talk Groupon for a second because Groupon's another thing I think when done right can be pretty awesome. I know, I know. Hear me out though. Hear me out. Now, if you don't know what Groupon is, I'll explain that. Groupon is a purchased, they just give you jobs and they pay you for those. But what happens is, is you say, I have... 10 windows, which I don't think they'll let you do that. I think that they have to get too close to standard everything. So 20 windows, my normal price in 20 windows is $199. I'm going to say for this example, I bumped it up to $249. So for $249, they're going to cut that in half. So now $125 is what this Groupon is going to be for. $125 is half off, 50% off. So people are going to buy the deal for $100. And $25. Now, Home Advisor, uh, I'm sorry, Groupon takes their cut, which is you can talk them to 40. They'll take 40, you get 60, but we'll say 50 50 because that's the most common. So out of $125, you're getting $75. That's not right. You're getting half of that. <laughs> oh my gosh, 50, 60, 60, uh, 250, 60, 250. No, 150. I'm telling you, it's been that kind of day. 
But you're getting 6250, that's what you're getting. Now, people say, well, would you clean 20 windows instead of $199? Would you clean them for 62 bucks? That seems stupid. Yes, it is. Now, you're getting a customer, but you're not getting an awesome grade of customer. You're getting a customer who um, wants a Groupon deal. They paid 50%. Now, when you try to get them to book the second time, you're like, hey, it's going to be twice that. They're like, yeah, no, I just wanted the Groupon. So not all of them are repeats. You have a very low repeat. Not very low. I'd say about 40, yeah, 40 to almost maybe 60% return. Somewhere in there. So not terrible, but not great. Okay? But the big thing is, is when somebody calls and they you know, buy a Groupon, you're going to see the list. You can tell them however many you want them to sell. As soon as somebody buys them, you can check yours and go, wow, okay, I, got, I just sold 32 of these Groupons. When somebody calls and they say, hey, my name is Doris and I have 28 windows and I got a Groupon and it's 20 windows for blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, great. Okay. Well, perfect. So we can pick out the 20 windows or we can do all of your windows and then each window price from there is your normal 10 or 12 or whatever, your 15 that you're charging. You can decide on that. And then they pick and go, okay, great. Uh, another thing we do is gutter cleaning. I know the time of year is coming up. Uh, have you had your gutters cleaned yet this year? Uh, no, I don't think we need that. We don't have trees. Okay, perfect. Um, one other thing I got to ask is house washing. How are you on the house? Now, if we do house washing, I want to let you know we do it all in the same day. We do the house wash first. Gets all mold, algae, dirt, everything off your house. And then we do the windows right after that. So the whole house is perfect. Hmm, how much is that? Well, that is $2.99 for that uh, house wash, right? So now you're upselling. You have to upsell to make the money back on the windows because here's the thing. Out of, again, for even numbers, we're going to say your normal 20 window special is $200. You're getting $62.50. But out of that money that you're not making, are you making it up in other services? So yes, you're doing more work for it, but you're getting a customer. Now, if I could get a customer to do all those other things, you're going to add on other services if they want. It's going to be easier to do those other services, plus you're already going to be there. So that's how Groupon kind of works and works well for you. The other thing with Groupon is that you don't, not everybody claims what they get on a Groupon. They kind of leave it, you put an expiration on there and all that, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Not everybody goes and uses their Groupon, so not all of those will be uh, used or taken or whatever. Sometimes people just forget or they don't use it or they just never get it or they move or whatever. So you get a little bit kind of on that. But if you're looking for a bunch of kind of cash inflow, it's not that bad. Because say you sell, whatever, 20 of them. What happens is uh, they send you the first batch of money and then they send you the second batch after a certain a lot of time seeing that there's uh, refunds because you can go on there after uh, seven days and be like, no, I didn't want this, and they'll give you your money back, and then they're not going to pay you for that, of course. But they'll give you kind of a nice little chunk up front, and now the rest of that money all comes in when they get the work. You're going to upsell, 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 upsell. And hopefully you'll get some of those people to return next year. If you get them to return, that right there it was just cost of acquiring the customer. Maybe you have them for 10 years. I got Groupon customers I've had for... Pff, 10 plus years. I've done their house every six months, if not sooner, from a Groupon that I sold, I've made my money back. So there are total benefits to it. Um, Groupon people get excited because it's such a deal, right? Now, I always talk about don't undercut your pricing. You don't need to go only on uh, price. You need to sell on value and all that fun stuff. I know. But there are other things you can do that aren't necessarily devaluing you. It, you may be making less, but you're not actually making, you know, you're not devaluing your service just to get the job. You're getting those new customers in, right? In a Groupon, people who come in, maybe they just wanted the Groupon deal, but they know it's a Groupon deal. If you start off and you charge $20 an hour, you can't go up to $65, $75 an hour because people will be like, yeah, no, that's not your price. Now you're just, you're getting greedy, right? But if you start there, they understand it. So there's benefits to Groupon. I dig Groupon in some situations, but you have to hustle, hustle on Groupon. You got to hustle with everything, actually. 
Every if you're not out there busting your hump, that's why you're not really succeeding. I'm sorry, um, but work harder and see if that does anything. Right? That's a really a hole kind of statement. I didn't mean to put it out that way, but I have people who this time of year will call me and they'll be like, "Hey, man, I'm yeah, I'm getting nothing." Well, first off, it's slow, but if say they're in a warm area, like, okay, so you didn't have any? Ah, man, I had four jobs last week. Oh, that sucks. What'd you do yesterday? Uh, pff, nothing, man. I like painting my kitchen. Like it's just, I got, you got no work, but you didn't go out there handing out flyers. Well, no, no, I had some stuff to do around the house. So what you're saying is you wanted the work to come to you. You didn't want to go get the work. Well, if you're going to run your business that way, it's cool, right? Business is your own thing, but then maybe you should do a Groupon. I'm not going to discount my, well, something's better than nothing. All right. That's a hustle. Work eight hours a day, even if you don't have eight hours worth of work. Make that into a t-shirt. That sounded pretty good. But another couple of things that you can always think about too. If you're doing Home Advisor, Thumbtack, Groupon, all those, they all kind of have a catch and you have to pay for every lead. If you do something like a Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or something else, we've talked about this a hundred times, I won't dive back into them. But if you do something like that, then it's free, but you don't get the kind of clients that you do. But if you're doing nothing this time of year, think about adding some of these pay services. Like it could totally be beneficial. I am very interested to see what happens on this lawsuit uh, because that lawsuit is, everybody's been talking about that forever, about how they get fake leads. And that's pretty interesting. Like that's that is a game changer if they go through. It's a class action, so it'll take forever. Nobody will get any money, but... You know, the lawyers will make the money. But if they win that class action lawsuit, that will force them to straighten up their act because it's going to cost them millions. Millions. So hopefully it does something. But either way, you get to kind of uh, check out different services, different pay stuff, throw a little money to it. I mean, this time of year is hard. I know we're, we're posting this in March. Uh, maybe somebody, one of you is binging it, you know, six months from now and maybe you got some more cheddar, but it's one of those things that if you're fast, you can get the stuff. And I dig home advisor. I'm sorry. It's probably my most unpopular statement that I have is that I like home advisor, but it just works really, really well. I've made hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars off them. I've been with them for so long. Have I paid money for it? Yeah. But if my neighbor comes to me and goes, hey, I got a buddy who uh, wants to use you. Uh, you throw me 20 bucks for uh, for his info? Like a lead finder's fee. I'm 100% happy with that. Yes. Because guess what? The cost of acquisition on a customer is high anyway. And my cost of acquisition may not land me that customer. So having somebody just like hand it to you, heck yeah, I'm totally down for that. So if you pay a uh, finder's fee, by the way, if you have any uh, referral guys, like if you have uh, painters in your network or dentists or whatever, those guys are spitting. Anytime somebody brings up window cleaning, they're selling your info. Oh, let me give you a card. I got a good, I got a guy for that. Same thing with you. If you're sending work to somebody else, they're going to pay you a finder's fee if you ask. Uh, that's really, you know, motivates you to kind of put it out there. I've given people more money over those past years than I care to admit. Uh, they're all, you know, friends or people I know in business, but man. Every time your summer is, hey, do you know a, do you know a good plumber? I do. He's a great plumber. Let me go grab his card, or let me give you his number. You usually save uh, the card picture kind of in the phone. But uh, they'll do the same thing to you. I'm more than happy collecting some money from them. Usually it's like ten percent. I got one guy that paid me twenty five percent, but uh, that's that's Groupon. That's Groupon. That's Home Advisor. That's you know Thumbtack. That's all those. You're paying a finder fee. So why not try them? Anyway, let me get down from my high horse and uh, you guys decide for yourself. But super cool options to at least think about. Uh, try them out. Either way. Well, this is episode 143, which means next week is 144. And as all of you know, which is probably not all of you, but 144 is a gross. And you happen to buy a gross of rubber if you buy a gross of rubber. So we're going to give away a gross rubber. Black diamond gross in 18. Ooh-wee. It's pretty nice. 
Uh, I dig uh, rubber. People don't care really about giveaways, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's 144. I got to. And next week's episode is going to be with Steve-O, the man, because we already recorded. I know. That's episode 144. And uh, we're giving away some rubber, and you can binge just like Jordan Orth and be super, super awesome if you did. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully it wasn't me just rambling too terribly much. But if you have any need for window cleaning supplies, pressure washing supplies, anything, please do let me know. Every one of you who um, buys from me like religiously, like I always get your order, you call, man, I have a list as long as my house of people who just buy always through me. You guys, absolutely awesome. I know it gets maybe mundane and I don't get to, you know, explain my excitement, but you guys who order from me make my day. It literally is the reason I exist. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, 862-312-2026 is my number. Save it. It's the beginning. It's all over. Just save it. It's my cell phone. Call me, text me, whatever. And uh, yeah, until next week, go out there and be epic. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Code. I didn't even say your code. I'm sorry. If you're still listening, I'm sorry. Your, <laughs> your code this week is... um. Let's uh, say Binge Master, just as a thank you to uh, Jordan. Binge Master is your code this week. Make it fun. Shoot me over. If you call, text me, uh, say Binge Master, you will get 5% off and free shipping. So make sure to do that. Uh, Binge Master is the code. Now, go out there and be epic.